Claris recently introduced something called the Problem Solvers Circle. What is it? And we're going to take a look at what it is. So really, it's two things. First, it's a new web development environment called Claris Studio. And second, it's a new version of FileMaker called Claris Pro. So which looks exactly and runs exactly like FileMaker with one important difference. So the first thing that let's take a look at is the Clara Studio development environment, which uses forms and workflows. So here's an existing form, and we'll make a change to it in a minute. This is a registration form for a sample company that gets information about people who are interested in taking their training classes. And so from their website, they would just make a link to this form. And then here's how this form would look. So um, the, we can see here the form, we can edit, change uh, anything we want. We can also see the raw data of people who have already used it. And then I can use the share button up here and I'll take this link and I'll copy it to a different browser. In this case, I'll open it up in Chrome. Here's Chrome. And then here's the actual live form. You can see I'm using dark mode. It'll automatically follow dark mode or light mode. And it will also automatically resize to whatever environment you're looking at. So it's out of the gate uh, responsive, which is actually pretty amazing. So let me um, put a sample. I'll put Matt Smith, Matt at smith.com. Phone number is 503, except without the 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 4, 4. And I'm interested in advanced training. I want the info. Okay, when I click Submit, that creates the record data in Clara Studio, and then I can immediately see that data by just going to my table here, and then I'll see that new record pops up right there. Okay, so far so good, but now we just have data in something kind of like a Google form, and this is, there's the magic part. If I go into the Clara Studio uh, demo file, this is actually in Claris Pro, the FileMaker Pro application, there's one important difference in this version, and that is it can actually see data that's outside of FileMaker. And uh, this is actually my data table in Clara Studio. So I can take a look at this data. Uh, every time you open up the database, it automatically does a sync, but there's also this manual sync button. And that gets all the new data and also any new field changes that you have in the database. Okay, so if I go to my table that I made, I made a layout for my training interest table, which exactly matches what I have in Clara Studio. And I can see the new record that I just made. So um, this is great, but what I really want to be able to do is I want to be able to update data that I already have in my contact list, right? So I have, I have this um, uh, list that I have of all of the records that I've ever had. And when someone is interested in training, I want to add them to my database. Here's how we do that. So go back to my training interest table, and I have this script that I wrote that is a very, very simple FileMaker script that grabs data from Clara Studio, does a search in my regular FileMaker table to see if that record exists or not based on the email address. If it does not exist, which is down here, it creates a record and sets all my data. And if it does exist, it updates my record. This is really hard to do by other methods, um, but it's very, you can see this is only a few lines of code. Okay, let's run that script. And what we'll see happen is the record gets added to the database and all the information gets set. We see one thing missing though. I don't have title data here and I really wanna know the title uh, that someone might fill out. Um, but I also notice that I don't even have title on my form. So I'll modify my form. I'll go to my data area. I'll click over here to the right and I can add a new column. This gives me all of my types of data that I can store. And uh, one of them is short text. So I'll add one and I'll title it title. And then add a new column. So now I have a new uh, column, new field in my data. If I went to take a look at this form again in uh, Chrome, oh, you know what? I actually have to do one thing first. I have to modify my form. And so just having the data in there is one thing, but on my page, I need to actually add my title. So you can see this highlighted because it's not already on the form. And I'm going to stick it over here to the right of last name. So I can just grab it and drop it. And then it automatically takes care of all of my look and feel. All of the objects on my form, by the way, are customizable. 
So I can choose this one and say this is required. I can also take a look at my header area and change the color and the size. And on my multiple choice list, I can modify uh, my information on the list. So for example, if I want to add a new option called expert, I can just add that right here. It's extremely easy, kind of like FileMaker, right? Okay, I don't have to save, it just automatically saves it. Now I'm gonna go over here and uh, take a look at my form. So I paste in that address and I can see the changes are immediate. So very FileMaker-like experience. I'll put a new person in. Um, let's see, I'll try, <laughs> I always have to come uh, take that, think about names. Let's try Joe Gonzalez. And his title is president, joe at gonzalez.com. Let's go gonzo.com. And phone number, uh, 541-222-9999. And he's looking for expert information, um, interested in best practices. It's important when you're doing demos to make no spelling errors. Okay, now that information is there, I can click here on my table and I can see that it's here. And what I wanna do now is modify my FileMaker database to be able to process the new information that I just put in, right? So I know in my existing data for my contacts, I have a title field. Um, but if I take a look at my form for training info, I don't have it yet linked. So here's what I do. Um, su super simple. I first go in here and just sync the data, and then that's going to immediately show me the new table field right there that's made. Um, second, um, I don't actually have to modify the graph at all because this is a very simple connection. In my script, I would make a very small change to the code. So first of all, I have to know uh, that I added a field here. I really like JSON, so I'm just going to copy and paste a JSON line uh, to add title right here. So I'll just make a new one called title and then it's use the field called title. So that's one part. That's the information that gets the information from, uh, from Clara Studio. Now I want to use it. And so I'll just duplicate this line of code and set the field called title in my existing person table and then grab the JSON for title. Okay, three very, very small changes. And if you're familiar with FileMaker, that would be uh, simple. By the way, this is the only code we're writing is in FileMaker, notice. Okay, now I've updated my script. So if I go to this last record that I just made, um, I also need to do one other thing. On the layout, I wanna add the title field so that I can see the data from Clara Studio. So I'll just double click to add that field here, move a label down. And now on that last record, I can see um, this person is the president. Okay, if I run my script, add person, I'm now done because I have the title information plus all the other information I just saw. So that's kind of a quick demo of what you can do um, with the new uh, Problem Solver Circle and with Claris Studio and Claris Pro. Thanks for your time.